Hey, this is Dr. Barry. Let's talk for just a few minutes about how to cure toenail fungus. Now, we know millions of people suffer from this ugly problem, and most people don't realize it, but it can actually lead to very serious infections as well of the toe and of the foot and even of the leg. So toenail fungus is not only an ugly problem we'd rather not see, it can also be dangerous as well. Now, if you know someone who has ugly toenail fungus, please share this with them. But let's talk about toenail fungus and how to cure it. Now, if you implement the strategies that I'm about to list in this video, you're gonna cure your toenail fungus, okay? But you have to realize it takes a long time to do that and the toenail fungus will come back if you don't continue. If you don't basically make these part of your daily strategies, the toenail fungus can come back. Toenail fungus usually affects older people more commonly than it affects younger people, but even young people can be affected. It usually affects men more than women, but women can definitely have it too. Uh, the toenail fungus basically jumps on board at a place that's not very well protected by your immune system, but then is also very protective when it comes to a fungus from the environment. And so it's kind of it's kind of a perfect little setup for this uh, fungus that we'll talk about. So toenail fungus is caused by either dermatophytes or yeasts or molds. Now all of those sound gross and you don't really want those, but let me tell you first and foremost, we all have yeast and dermatophytes and molds on our body all the time. Our immune system is used to that. It just fights them off. If, if it is strong enough and if the environment around your tissue is normal, then your body can just fight funguses off like it's nothing. And so you have bacteria, you have fungus, you have virus, they're all over you all the time. And if that freaks you out, you gotta get used to that. You gotta just come to grips with that. You are covered both inside and outside with fungus, viruses, and bacteria. It's just part of being a human being. We can't help that. But what we can do is make the environment so inhospitable that they can't get under the skin, or in this case, under the nail, and start doing their dirty work. So we let's talk about this. We know that fungus, like mushrooms, love dark places, they love moist places, and some yeasts and funguses love warm places. And so you can think of the inside of your shoe as the kind of perfect environment. It's dark, it's warm, it's moist, high humidity. So the yeast is perfectly at home right there. And so you have to work on that. Also, you have to remember that yeasts love sugar. That's, that's how we turn grape juice into wine is the, the yeast eats up the sugar because it loves it. Yeast, they don't like to eat protein that much and they don't like to eat fat that much. They like sugar. And so now let's talk about the strategies to cure your toenail fungus. And keep in mind, this is going to take at least six months because if you have an ugly toenail like the one in, in the thumbnail, you that nail is already damaged. You can't fix that nail. That nail will have to grow off. And it takes from four to seven months for the average adult human big toenail to grow off, okay? We're gonna stop the, the yeast or the fungus in its tracks and then new nail is going to have to grow out. But the old nail that's already messed up, you'll just have to keep trimming it straight across until it grows out, okay? So you can't reverse the damage that's already done. You just have to grow a new healthy nail while keeping the fungus and the dermatophytes and the yeast at bay. And so here's how you're gonna do it. Strategy number one is to fix your diet. Did you see that coming? Yeah, you gotta eat low carb. You gotta eat almost no sugars, very few starches. That, that's gonna make your body much less hospitable for all fungus, all yeast, all bacteria, and all viruses. They don't like that kind of environment. They want a sugar-filled environment. And so you've got to move your diet, perhaps from the standard American or the standard UK or Canadian diet, to a low carb, high healthy fat diet and then the, the viruses and the fungus just they won't like you as much you won't taste as good and so it'll make your toenail less hospitable to them that's number one number